just completed my next vlog with dipesh kodra one of the early subscriber who got through google it was a very interesting session and i hope you guys are really enjoy it the video will go live sometime in the upcoming week now gets back to the weekly contest 288 and the second question on the list is count collisions on the road here in this question we are given n are n cars and we are given the direction in which each car is moving left right or it may remain stationary as well what we need to do we need to identify the total number of collisions that will happen on the road when two cars moving are moving towards the opposite direction towards each other collide we get two points when a standing stationary car collides with any other car you get a single point in the end what we need to do we need to identify the total number of collisions that will happen without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation that i have created for this and i'll be talking through the algorithm as well as the examples via the ppt so let's get started lead code double to double one count collisions on road so let's take a very simple example we'll go step by step iterating through various test cases we have two cars one moving towards the right direction other one to moving towards the right, left direction what will be the total score here since both of them are moving in opposite directions the total score would be equal to the number of cars that we have 1 plus 2 so it will contribute to one one score each as they collide over here let's move ahead the next example that we have is this one r r l l and what's going to be the case here what will be the total score two cars are moving towards the right direction two cars are moving towards the left direction and what will happen let's go step by step in the first score these two will collide and they will remain stationary after where afterwards so what is the total score up till here after their collision it's 2 and again now these two would collide and the total score would be updated to 4 so 2 for these two rights and 2 for these two left the total score here turns out to be the total number of cars that we have r r l l let's proceed ahead now we see 3 hours followed by 3 hours what's going to be the case uh, these three are moving towards the right direction these three are moving towards the left direction and the total square here would come out to be 6 one for this pair other one for this pair and the other one for this pair and the total number of cars here again happens to be equal equal to 6 uh, three are moving towards right three are moving towards left now comes an interesting case listen to this very carefully let's hypothetically assume there is a stationary car in between and now let's try to calculate the score out here so this right car will collide with this one and the total score for this particular pair will turn out to be one unit uh, pretty simple and straight forward nothing extraordinary so far let's proceed ahead uh, this is moving towards right this is moving towards left so what's going to be the total score corresponding to this one it would be equal to 2 units so 2 plus 1 happens to be 3 the total score so far becomes 3 now we have this car moving towards the right direction and these two are moving towards the left direction so assume let's assume these after the collision these two have become stationary and since it is moving towards the right direction as a result of it what will happen this right direct moving car will collide with the stationary object and it will lead to the collision count getting increased by 1 unit so this gets updated to 4 and what's going to be the case here let me just change the color of pen this will this is again sim, same to similar to s s l l both of them will collide with s 1 by 1 so when s and l collides the score gets updated to 5 and now again the updated value over here become stationary because after the collision the car remains stationary again this s and l will collide the result will become 6 so what have you observed here here in this example we learned that this stationary object is not overall increasing or decreasing the total collision count it is independent of whether we have a stationary object placed over here or not because for this particular case as well the answer was 6 for this particular case the answer is again 6 let's proceed ahead let's talk about few more cases so what do we have we have two cars moving towards right and this one is stationary so what's going to happen in the first go these two will collide 
and this will become stationary now these two will collide and this will become stationary the total score corresponding to these three cars become two units the total number of cars moving towards right let's proceed ahead next we see is a car moving towards right other one is moving towards left these two will collide the total score will be updated to four and as a result it will become stationary next we have a car moving towards left when s and l collide the score gets updated to five the result is stationary and again s and left collide the result becomes six so again we saw that this time s was somewhere in middle and it it doesn't affect the overall score of the cars let's proceed ahead let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and this time we have s in the middle so this will collide with this the score gets updated to 1 uh, the cars after the collision remain stationary then we have r and s again the score gets updated to 2 then r and s again the score gets updated to 3 the overall result of these four cars happens to be stationary and now we'll go one by one so it gets updated to 4 left and s will lead to an increment of collision count by 1 the update would be stationary the result would be stationary again we have snl configuration score gets updated to 5 again we have sln configuration the score gets updated to 6 again we saw if we have s in the middle the total score for the collision count remains unchanged now let's move ahead and let's take a slightly different example here we have s in between somewhere here and uh, let's go one by one uh, let, when these two collide the total score becomes 2 and the result is stationary when th these two collide the score gets updated to 3 and the result is stationary when these two collide the total score gets updated to 4 when these two collide the total score gets updated to 5 the result is stationary and when these two collide again the total score gets updated to 6 again unchanged similarly you can go for this one as well I'm not going just to save time what is the crux of the problem the crux of the problem is s positions really doesn't matter wherever we have stationary values it will never contribute to the answer we are only interested in those values that are actually moving those cars that are actually moving either towards each other or either away from each other so far we only considered those cases where the cars are moving towards each other we haven't talked about the case where the cars are moving away from each other let's talk about that case as well so here in this case we see that the elements are left right right left left right so what do you see this car is moving towards the absolute left direction and can it ever collide no it can never collide so we have to skip those cases no matter how many left values you see at the beginning of your array it will never contribute to the result similarly no matter how many right directed cars you see at the end of the array it will never contribute to the result so we have to skip those entries we have to create two pointers and we have to increment uh, the left pointer till the time we are seeing a car moving towards the left direction at the left index so here it is moving towards the left direction we increment the pointer to one unit and here we see it now it has started moving towards the right direction it will lead to collision similarly uh, we'll take a right pointer and we'll keep on decrementing it till the time the rightmost index has a value r here the values are will reduce it so here it gets updated to right let me just change the color of pen now and let's start iterating here we see r and left these two will collide the score will be updated to 2 again these two will collide the score will be updated to 2 the answer becomes 4 so again we saw there is a slight corner case where the moving cars are also not contributing to any answer which is this one the initial left directed cars at the left index and the right directed cars at the rightmost index so these are all the permutations that would be possible across various arrangements of these cars s will not really impact any score or collision count and we have to skip the any the leftmost cars placed towards the left direction and the rightmost cars placed towards the right direction and now we'll simply calculate the score which is equal to the number of cars that lie within this range and we have to skip those in the stationary state so let's quickly move on to the coding section now so here i've created two pointers left and right and left will point to zero start from zero right will point from the rightmost index till the time i keep on seeing 
my leftmost index having a value l i keep on incrementing it similarly till the time i am seeing the rightmost index having a value r i'll keep on decrementing it decrementing it then i go and create a count variable i i treat from the leftmost index up till the rightmost index and in case my current direction of the car happens to be not equal to stationary i increment my count variable so uh, simply consider it as if we have r and l there are two cars involved that are moving towards each other as a result of which the, the count will be incremented by two units since there were two cars we can take uh, the number of such cars under consideration and that, that will give us the result in the end we'll simply return that count variable there were two cars involved here as a result of it the score was also two accepted the time complexity of this approach is order of n the space complexity of this approach is constant time i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye